Hey YouTubers, what's up? Herb here. Actually, uh, driving into work. About to go fly some jets. So, uh, figured I'd give you another update to Coin Man Herb Aviation. Anyway, I think it's about time we start talking about the first step towards getting your licenses, and that's the private pilot license. Now, we know you should, by this time, already have gotten your medical, so you know you're good to go. Uh, when it comes to your private pilot license, there's, you know, basically going to be three things that you're really going to, uh, they're really going to be key to get the license. One is time. It's going to take time. The uh, second one is money. You're going to need money. And the third would be, I'd say, you can say perser perseverance, motivation, whatever you want to call it, but you're going to have to be able to uh, withstand some of the uh, pitfalls of getting the license. So It's not all going to go perfect. It never does. When we talk about the uh, private pilot license, the minimum for the license is uh, 40 hours. Now... If there's any of you who have or do get your license at exactly 40 hours, I personally want to meet you because no one gets their private license at 40 hours. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to uh, grasp and you're new to the whole thing, so the minimum is 40 hours. Uh, within that 40 hours, 20 of it needs to be with your flight instructor the other 20 is going to be on your own um, doing various things like touch and goes uh, solo cross countries night flying all that stuff and that's all going to be at the blessing of your flight instructor who will have to sign you off for your cross countries your night flying and even for your solo so like I say 40 hours if you get your private license in 40 hours you are like you're like a superhero because no one gets in at 40 hours. I would have to probably go look back into my logbook and see exactly when I got mine, but I'm pretty sure I got mine around 54 hours. Uh, most people, it's right around that time, the 60 hour, you know, 60 to 70 hour mark is when most people get their uh, private pilot license. So amongst all the uh, flying stuff, you know, there's an aeronautical test and I also highly recommend that you go out and take that written as soon as possible because it's not as fun as flying obviously and what you might find yourself um, you're well into the flying program but you still haven't even studied for your written so you got to get that written out of the way um, it's a multiple question test you can take it at many test centers um, wherever you're working on getting your licenses I'm sure they will have plenty of uh, ideas on where you can take your written. They might even, um, as part of their program, you might even take it with them. So, Anyway, the private pilot license. I will put some links. I'll add some links to the bottom of this uh, video. Uh, some FA links and stuff to kind of help you out. With some of the rules and regulations. Um, you know, like if you like. Thumb down if you don't. Leave some comments, ask some questions, let me know what's going on. But like I say, the private pilot license is the first step to getting to here, where I am right now, uh, driving to the airport, about to fly an airliner. So, thanks for watching. You guys have a good day, good night, and uh, like I say, leave some comments. We'll be talking.